Today I will show you something that I discovered on the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. It's not of a big issue, but I want just to ask you if you know why we are having this on this camera. Hello everyone, I hope you are all good. I'm Photorabs, a portrait photographer based in France, and I like to create videos about action cams, vlogging kits, and whatever related to photography, videography, cameras, and so on. If you are interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel, that's a massive help. And in today's video, I'm going to show you something that I noticed on my DJI Action 5 Pro. Actually, I didn't notice it myself. I got a comment from one of you on one of my videos asking me to verify that. And then I discussed with that guy and I have something weird happening on my camera. I don't know if it is also happening on your unit. Let me know your thoughts about it down below and if you have an explanation for that I would be happy to see it I would be happy to hear it well it's not something very bad just to let you know but I noticed that if you are shooting in 4 by 3 ratio and not in 16 by 9 we have something weird happening on the field of view for example if we are in 4k 4 by 3 ratio I go I took the rock steady off we can see that the standard is like narrower, the wide is a little bit wide, and the ultra wide is wider, which is very normal, right? But if we go to Rocksteady on, not the Rocksteady Plus, just the Rocksteady, if we see that the standard is narrow, which is normal, the wide is wide, but the ultra wide is not wider than the wide. We can see just that we have the barrel effect on the center of the camera, but we don't have a wider field of view in this particular rock steady mode. I don't know, let me know if you have that on your camera or not. I tried it on the 16 by 9 ratio. We don't have this problem at all, but with the 4 by 3rd, we have it. If we go to rock steady plus, the standard and the wide are somehow similar. On the standard, just we have like straightened lines. On the wide, we have the barrel effect that we have on the ultra wide on the rock study. So just we noticed that. Thank you for the guy you know yourself who told me about this thing on this camera. I haven't tried it before and I discovered it after your comment and after our conversation. Thank you for mentioning that. And yeah, the question is, personally, I will not use the 4 by 3rd ratio, but there are people who are interested in this ratio for their videos. Let me know your thoughts about it down below and let me know if you have any explanation for that. Because once again, in 16 by 9 ratio, we don't have that at all. We only have this in 4K 4 by 3rd ratio. And if the Rocksteady is on, if the Rocksteady is off, nothing is wrong with the camera. It's not of a big deal, I know. So I tried to search on the internet for this particular thing on this camera, but I didn't find anything. No one is mentioning that. Maybe because no one is shooting in 4x3rd? I don't know. Personally, as I said, I'm not a 4x3rd shooter. I prefer the 16x9. But let me know if you are using the 4x3rd. Will this be a deal breaker for you? And for those who have an explanation for that, I will be really happy to see your thoughts about it because I've been thinking about it the whole day and I couldn't find any reason why we have this with the Rocksteady and with the Rocksteady Plus. So that was it for today's video. It was just a question from me to you. If you have any answer about this particular thing on the DJI Osmo Action 5, maybe DJI Teams, you can comment down below, you can text me, you can send me mails, so we can just discuss about this thing here because honestly I do not understand why we have this thing appearing on the camera and that's really weird. So that was it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check my playlist about the Black Friday 2024. I started it yesterday and I'm gonna post lots of videos about this topic, the Black Friday deals every day at the same exact time. So See you on the upcoming videos. Ciao for now. We are on RS at ultra wide 
and right here we can see a little bit of the door and some of those posters and here we almost see the edge of the iPad all right this isn't very stable so I'll try to not move it I'm going to click here into my RS settings I'm going to change it from wide or ultra wide to wide do you see that we got more poster and more iPad at wide and then we go to ultra wide we get more punch in wide oh, I moved it sorry ultra wide wide you see the middle and wide it also punches out so it the chair appears smaller and then ultra wide wide ultra wide so at ultra wide the image actually looks bigger and there's less on the edges but at wide there is more edge and smaller subject in the middle